Hello friends, today I want to talk about why you should not hustle and you should start performing instead of hustling. And what I mean is that if you look at the science of peak performance, specifically to the work of uh, Professor Anders Ericsson, you see that the best of the best, those that are truly willing to become masters at their craft, doesn't matter if they are musicians or sports people or people in business, scientists, doesn't matter. They do not hustle and grind in order to become masters masters of their craft. Instead, what they do is they perform. What's the difference? The difference is that a top performer, it is working with 100% of intensity on the task, or it is not working at all, right? So it's either 100% on or 100% off. There's no in between. And if you look at the motor hustling culture, it's all about putting in a hundred hours work weeks, willing to advance twice as fast as the average entrepreneur. But if you really look in detail, most of that effort is wasted because since they do not have the proper rest and recovery protocols, they do not have the mental capacity to make the right choices, to call the right shots, to prioritize with maximum effectiveness based on the leverage that they have available. So they end up wasting most of that effort. If you ever truly feel that by working 100 hours, you are essentially putting in twice as much work as someone who works 50 a week, you have fallen for what I call the Elon Musk trap, which is thinking that all hours are created equal and building great things is just a matter of persistence. Even if I believe that persistence is crucially important, I see persistence in the long run. You do not need to burn out every week by working more than anybody else if you do not do the things that need to be done. So this raw thought is really about helping you understand the difference between those that show up for work just to do stuff and others that understand how does the biological machine they are, right? The human body and mind work under pressure and they structure the days and segment their schedules according to the long-term goals and short-term actions and projects that they need to work. There's an absolute massive difference between those that just go to work in order to do stuff and know there's a like highly strategic about what they do. Because also if you look at the statistics and this is based on data, this is not my opinion, it's data. Oftentimes there's no more productivity in a company that hire hundred people all of a sudden. Oftentimes the productivity is the same or even lower because those hundred people are not put up to speed as they should. I often say to entrepreneurs who don't like to believe me until I prove it to them that a high performing team of a few individuals can outperform a much larger team of low performers, right? So I'll leave you with this idea. Really think about your average workday, how much structure there is, how much intention there is, and how well thought out are your rest and recovery protocols within the day. If you haven't paid attention to this, chances are that you are hustling. You are willing to burn the midnight oil just to get to your goals faster. But those, those goals most likely will not materialize until you become a top performer in business. See you in the next video.